Hello, my name is Adam. We're from St John Fisher in North West London. We're so excited to be here today. Come on, St John Fisher! And with that, the biggest ever All Britain Championships, simply known as the ABCs, got underway at the home of Chirconnell Gales. Day one is for primary schools only. 27 of them took part, with a total of 350 boys and girls enjoying a full day of competition and fun. Oh, it's been brilliant. I mean, the first thing I was how we got here about quarter to ten and how organised everything was. We had first aid, water fountains, toilets, all this, everything was set up. You know, I've been, it's been a good few years since I've been here and it's all, always been great, but things haven't necessarily been quite ready and it's but all these extra things. We've had a child hurt today, go straight to the first aid. It's just been really well organised, really good. And much bigger since the last time you were here. Absolutely, much bigger, yeah. Loads and loads of schools. Schools from Swansea and Manchester and all these sorts of places. Really good. It's great to see the game spreading. Some of the play was a little bit unorthodox, mainly because a lot of the children are relatively new to Gaelic football. This team from Manchester got a taste for it at the recent and new Northern Games and wanted more. That's why they met at 6 o'clock this morning to travel to London. Yeah, so we did the Northern Games uh, a couple of months ago. Um, again, that was, that was loads of fun. Um, not really played much Gaelic football. Um, Andrew comes in and coaches us. We've done four or five weeks with the A5s and then four or five weeks with the A6s. Um, and it's just a great platform to come and play some structured Gaelic football and, and really get involved, so it's good. Big soccer town, Manchester, but uh, yes. the kids love it. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. if you think that a lot of them are like playing football normally, so naturally they're quite good at this, and it's a shame that there's not more in Manchester for them to come and get involved in. I know there is three or four clubs, I was speaking to Andrew before, there is three or four clubs they can get involved in, but football kind of takes over, and I think Gaelic's lost a little bit, so to have an opportunity to come and play structured stuff like this is really good. And why do you think the girls in particular love it? Um, that's a good question. Um, I think I think some t in, in terms of football, in, in terms of soccer, I think the, ch the boys are often that step above. Whereas the, in Gaelic football, they start at a more even point because they haven't necessarily played it that much, so they can progress together. Um, and we've we've had some great girls in the past who have been just as good as the boys. Matthew, what was the winning feeling like at the end of the match there? Uh, it was mo like a moment of joy because we realised we've got this far with a strong team and. It was a really good moment. How come Gaelic football is so strong in your school? Uh, because sometimes we have I, like Irish like trainers and coaches coming into our school, and they practice a bit, and in our school adapts to it. So that kind of helps. I feel very very happy that we have won for the fifth time. I think. Yeah. So five years coming here. You're still winning. What's the future for you in Gaelic football? Mm, well, I'm not really in a Gaelic like, club now, but maybe I might join soon.